Well, Dan, plans from the early 2000s described a resort-style outdoor retail and entertainment center with a large department store and conference center. Some of the major features are still in the works, but now the focus is more on creating a place for college students to enjoy. This parcel of land overlooking the Monterey Bay in Seaside has long been envisioned as the future home of a proposed main gate development project. Located off Highway 1 at Lightfighter Drive, right outside the Cal State University campus, the idea was to create a destination shopping center with a four-star hotel and conference center, movie theater and housing. With a growing student population and a new developer chosen to design it, the vision has evolved. What we want to do is mix up the uses, have a mix of residential, commercial uh, office uses on the site to have places for a, a CSU and B to grow into uh, and really fundamentally start to create a campus town here in Seaside. An artist's rendering provided by Petrovich Development Company includes an amphitheater, residential towers with ideas for a microbrewery and other attractions for residents in the area. And the students uh, walk across the street, they don't have to you know, wander through some parking lot, they can just walk right into the stores. Um, there's the idea of having a, a, f a food incubator which would, which would be uh, really interesting. It, it's a place where uh, uh, restaurant tours can get their start. Many students say their options are limited when it comes to things to do around here. And another problem is transportation. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, being a student here, what there is to do in Seaside. Uh, honestly, not a lot if you don't have a car. I think that would be great because one, like, issue that me and my friends are always talking about is how dry campus is all the time and that there's nothing to do and all that stuff. I asked some students what they would like to see and a few ideas were a bowling alley or a trampoline park, basically something fun. And whatever they plan to build, the city will earmark 20% of the hotel tax and sales tax towards scholarships to help Seaside students attend CSUMB. Aaron, Dan. All right. All right. Thank you, Bianca. Thank you, Bianca. Well, the preliminary plans for the Seaside Main Gate project will be presented to the community for input starting tomorrow night at 6. It happens at the Soper Community Center in Seaside.